Hey, hi. First, I hate talking to the camera. It's not my thing, but I thought I should share my experience camping in this amazing place for eight nights. This is Banff National Park. And I arrived last Saturday. And today is Saturday. And I'm leaving. This is beautiful, gorgeous place. Uh, we had snow and below freezing temps all week. I was here, of course, today. I'm setting to get home and the weather is a little nicer. That's fine. Hey, Tahoe. Hi, Tahoe. I want, what I wanted to share is uh, some of the little things that made my uh, stay in the winter. Well, officially it's not the winter yet, but you know, <laughs> below freezing temps. The very first thing, of course, is an electric hookup. Because that allowed me to run uh, a couple of appliances that helped uh, keep temperature and humidity uh, under control. The real hero is this little guy. This little space heater, in this case it's a Black & Decker I picked up at uh, Target for 20 bucks. It helped keep the inside of the camper really, really warm. And it's a dry heat, so it also kept humidity very low inside. You can see 34%. And I never had the humidity go over 51, I guess, was the highest I had. Temp is showing 52 right now just because I have the window, uh, the door open for a while because I've been just fixing stuff here. Second thing I brought, I'm not sure I needed because the, the little uh, heater did such a great job providing dry heat. You see? I brought a, a small dehumidifier, but I have not emptied the tank since I got here. And that's how much water it got. So as you can see, it didn't work very hard, right? That's very little water it picked up. Right, so another thing I did, you probably noticed, I put Reflectix on all the windows. Uh, the days I was actually working, because uh, a couple of days I had to work from here, uh, I actually removed this from this window so I could stare at nature and not the lame reflectix thing. As you can see, there's not even a whole lot of condensation in here. And as you can see, I actually did double layers of Reflectix. So all these little details helped me keep water run well, the water running. Of course, I have the tank heaters and since I got electric hookup, I ran the tank heater all the time. By the way, my gas water heater is lighting up that fault. I don't know why. Uh, I'll figure out when I go, get home, but I only had the electric, which is fine Because really I took only one shower in the camper The night I arrived because the campsite the campground has very good hot showers So all other nights I showered at their showers and that also kept me up helped me keep the water, the sea gray tank is showing full. I just washed some dishes. It was two thirds when I woke, woke up this morning. 
the black is still two thirds. Of course, I was using mostly the um, campground facilities, uh, except for middle of the night. I would not go out and very below freezing temps to go use the restroom. So if that was the case, I would use the restroom in the camper. But if I could, I would go whenever I had the chance to use the restroom at the campground, I did. Wow, this is turning to be a very boring and long video. Anyway, so there's all this and the, the tank heater. That's what I was talking about, right? Uh, I once in a while I opened these when I saw the humidity building up a little, like approaching 50, but really it wasn't an issue. Uh, up here, I left it open most of the time. I'll close now for travel. Uh, and uh, one little trick I did to keep the bathroom a little warm and help that uh, vent pull some air out as well. I just left the door kind of coasted like this. So there was a little gap here for the, the hot air to flow and keep the bathroom a little warm. Uh, yeah, mostly that's it. Now on the outside, that's something I'm I want to show because that I'm pretty sure helped a lot. And I built this skirt, you can see, right? And I did a little research because uh, I wanted something to, that could be easily put on and removed and reused, right? So I'll show real. Uh, quick a few things about how I built it and then I'm done because I know you're bored already so am I okay so one a couple flaws I found let's start with the flaws a lot of air was going inside from here and blowing this thing right so I have to figure out a better way to do it but just so you know the way I did it, I'm gonna tear it all out because I'm packing. Uh, I put some pressure buttons here and I probably missed one in this spot here. So when I get home, I'll try to fix it. Right, so have the pressure buttons. And then the way I attached, so this is just, I'll, I'll link all the, the products. Just a, a heavy duty tarp I bought on Amazon. And here's a little trick. Those, I didn't feel like drilling holes on my RV. It's a brand new trailer. Uh, so these are stickers and hooks. And I put these grommets here, right? And I can easily, well, kind of easily, because you see as like oh you see the way i doubled the layer here i probably should have done with only one of those grommets or whatever they're called i guess it's grommets uh but as you can see it's kind of easy to put in and out it's just a little annoying sometimes one layer will come out usually the outside layer so if i had only one grommet for both layers it would probably work better but this works see and i didn't want to attach anything to the actual wall here so i did it on the frame right and here more pressure points. now it's out now we can see the temperature there it's showing 30 as soon as I removed it it's going down but I believe the tanks and the bottom of the RV is actually a little warmer than that but the, the thermometer is sitting on the snow so it's probably 
showing a little lower than the actual bottom of the RV is. But as you can see, the wind is blowing there already. So you can see that this actually helps a little bit, right? Because it blocks some of the wind, not all. I'll show you another flaw that could be improved. Now, I'm gonna show you this. That's where I attached the, the hooks, the, the adhesive hooks. Because as I said, I didn't want to attach anything to the wall. And this inside here is actually kind of metal that the adhesive uh, caught on real easy and uh, real sturdy. So it, it, it kept through some couple wind storms that I had overnight here and made some noise, but everything is still in place. Now, this is the big flaw that I wanna show. Uh, of course, this is a big gap that I have to figure out how to block. But still, even with this gap, this is the only big gap we have on both sides, of course. Uh, even with this gap, that little skirt helped a lot. So one last detail on how I cut in the front, because we have all these little things for the tongue. And you can see here, um, I put a hook here, a hook here, I did a little cut here, then I put another hook there, another hook over there. And, uh, a hook here, one little cut, a hook, one little cut, a hook, then another cut for the tongue, a hook, and a hook, and all the pressure buttons that connect. Yeah, I think it works. It uh, can be improved for sure, but it helped me stay warm and didn't have any pipes frozen or anything. Tahoe, are we ready to go home? Not? I am not, but we have to go. Uh, all right, that was quite a long video, and I hope you don't find my voice and my accent as idiot as I do, because I hate it. Anyway, it was a great little trip. Eight days, three days, snowboarding on the mountains, eight nights on this gorgeous place. Just to end the video, when you're out there driving on the mountains at night, be aware of wildlife, right? This is a brand new truck. You can still see the deer hair. I hit a deer coming up driving in Idaho. Bummer. But at least it didn't the damage wasn't big enough to screw my trip, right? I could still reach my destination. This is mostly uh, cosmetic. It will cost me a little, but that's fine. I'm safe, my dog's safe, the deer most likely made it. It was dark, I didn't see. But given the little damage, and I quote unquote little, uh, I believe the deer is fine as well. Yeah, brand new truck, two month old, but that's fine. We're all good and we are all good to go. See you guys.